Hello guys, welcome to Disney Dreamlight Valley. Update is around the corner. We starting to get some little sneak peeks and today I just wanted to talk about what do we know about the upcoming update? What are we expecting? What we know for sure? What are we speculating on? And just summarize everything that there is to know about update 10. But first I wanna start with absolute genius people who figured out what the second post the second animation set actually means i when i saw this i was like yep this is exactly what it is so everybody was speculating a car a shiny new car a dog maybe like a, the dog could be uh, a bolt no it's so much more simple than this so the first imagine the first emoji means magic the dog is not actually a dog, it's a pet. And the car is a car. And if we put this all together, what do we get? Magic, car, pet. Magic carpet. <laughs> this is genius! These people are genius! The ones who did this puzzle and the ones who figured it out. I can't believe it. So naturally, after figuring that out, I was like, Okay, what if the same logic applies to the popcorn and the squirrel or a chipmunk? So is it popmunk? Chipcorn? Well, what? I, I couldn't figure out anything that made sense. Same with pretzel and a guy. S these ones so far are pretty, like, speculative, but the magic carpet is, like, it's way too good. I don't believe it's a coincidence. I think that's exactly what they're going for. So that's kind of changes everything if we are getting magic carpet in the star path now first of all what would it be would it be potentially a carpet that is lying on the floor and can be used as a rug just completely lifeless or is it going to be something like an octopus uh, from Monsters, Inc.? Maybe it's just going to be like fluttering. Maybe it's even like flying and it, you could put items on it like a table. Or maybe it's just 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 complete decoration item. Just something that floats in the air where you put it like a cloud, but a little bit lower. Or it could even be companion. Who knows? That's kind of crazy, right? But yeah, I don't know. I don't know, that's pretty exciting. Magic Carpet is also a very prominent character from Aladdin movie. And uh, that kind of makes you think, why would they release a Magic Carpet without releasing anybody from Aladdin? And that's where I thought that all my theories before about who that lucky villager is could potentially be completely wrong. And no, it makes sense. Spark of Imagination, Figment. Makes sense. Lucky Villager, Oswald the Rabbit. Makes sense. But now, if you think about it, we know we are not getting Jafar. We know that Jafar is going to be the character that we unlock in the last chapter. So, we, we, we know that we're getting Daisy Duck from the main story. And they haven't announced or teased any other character for the main story. And I don't think there's going to be more than one, though it's possible. But considering how fast this update seems to be coming after the last one, I think we're only going to get one character in the main story. And they, they pretty confidently teased that we're only getting one character from Eternity Isle update, which is supposed to be that lucky villager. Okay, so here's the DDV roadmap. Let's take a look again. We are at this update right now. A vibrant new villager moves to the valley. We're getting Daisy. First of all, I'm kind of curious how... How are we going to get Daisy? Is she going to be uh, uh, trapped inside Donald's ship? Like, are we going to bring this statue to life? Or is she going to come from some other place? I think it has to do something with Donald's ship. That she's she's been there all along, just trapped and forgetting in a statue. I don't know, something like that makes sense. Uh, we know also another thing, that we are getting the Touch of Magic shop. Now, once again, it's not 
fully confirmed, but people pretty much figured out that this is going to be Touch of Magic Shop because of how it looks and the icons. We don't know the details on how it's going to work. I'm sure they're going to tease more about it soon. But for now, we know that we're getting this building and it's some kind of a shop. And the most likely theory is that it's going to be Touch of Magic uh, Outfits Shop potentially uh, allowing people to sell their own Touch of Magic creations to other players. And most likely it's going to be ran by Daisy Duck because the most prominent feature about her is fashion. And this is literally fashion of the highest caliber. So it makes perfect sense. And the update for Expansion Pass, we're going to be getting one that's called the Spark of Imagination. Now, this one, I was so convinced it was Figment because it just made sense. I made a whole video going through all the arguments why the Lucky Villager is Figment. And now I find myself doubting that again because, well, technically, the Spark of Imagination is... It's the, the name of the thing that Jafar is hunting, so it could it could have nothing to do with the Spark of Imagination. Like, the only reference may be to the actual Spark that we're hunting, so it doesn't have to involve Figment. I keep jumping from one theory to the other. My initial theory was Genie. And there is a lot of good arguments on why it could be Genie. First of all, uh, the, the game already casted the voice actor for Genie. And Genie files were already found in game files. So I don't see... Like, it makes sense for them to, to... To already be working on a character that they're potentially bringing very soon into the game. So Genie kind of fits so well. But then we got distracted by Oswald because of the word Lucky. And we got distracted for Figment because of the word Spark of Imagination. But what if it was a Latin character all along? Now, you could probably think, why is it not Aladdin himself, since we're getting his magic carpet in the star path? That's a good question. I still don't think it's going to be Aladdin, and I don't think it's going to be Jasmine, for two reasons. Number one, I don't see them coming as a DLC characters. I feel like those two are such iconic characters, and they are absolutely perfect for Aladdin realm to be introduced in a free update. So I think they it's it would be cruel to separate them. If they were going to separate one character, I feel like it could be Ginny. And I feel like he could be such a cool addition to the game. And we already have game files on Ginny, and we already have voice actors on Ginny. So it looks like Ginny is going to be making it into the game before Aladdin or Jasmine anyway. So this would be perfect opportunity to bring him in. Also, I feel like we're going to need a little bit more powers to stop Jafar. So, I know, I'm such a flip-flopper. I was jumping from one theory to the other, but I, I think I'm going back to my original theory that uh, the villager that we're going to be unlocking is going to be JD. There's just... There's just too much pointing to it, and now with this... Uh, the, the carpet... As far as I know from Aladdin's story, the Magic Carpet and Genie, they were friends before they met Aladdin, right? Okay, so listen to this. I just found this on Disney Wiki. Background information for Magic Carpet. Yes, Carpet had been good friends with Genie, who remained trapped within his lamp in, exclu in, the, in an exclusive chamber a thousand years prior to meeting Aladdin. I don't know, I just feel like Genie is such a perfect counterpart to Jafar to 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 face him uh in in the final chapter some kind of a trickery i don't know i could just hear Ginny in the game i don't know it just it just he just belongs and also i feel like them releasing Ginny as a part of the expansion pass is just gonna sell so much more copies because it's such an iconic character it's just i don't know i'm i'm back camp Ginny. i know it does not make sense in terms of spark of imagination or lucky villager genies can he even call him a villager is there a chance that he was some at some point part of the dreamlight valley i mean apparently there is since they do have game files for genie as a character so i'm cam genie i'm sorry now this is an interesting theory a chippendale popcorn stand the flying carpet ride and a pretzel stand. That sounds like another Pixar star path. 
So this is another theory that I see floating around, that we're getting uh, more rides. And maybe Magic Carpet is just a ride, and it's not an actual carpet, it's more of a attraction. In that case, my whole theory go goes out of the window. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I'm sure we're gonna find out very soon, because once again, the unofficial, almost fully confirmed date is April 24th for the update. It's like every single bit of data that we have pointing to that date, so it's very likely that we're gonna get update on that date, which means we're gonna start getting some leaks and sneak peeks from developers starting now, and I just can't wait for it. Snack food themed squirrel, kind of like Cloud Turtle or Snowy Raccoon. That is totally possible. I feel like it could be pointing towards the companion skin. Maybe it's a squirrel that just holding a bucket of popcorn. Or maybe she's covered in popcorn. Also, I just had a thought. I don't know if anybody said anything about this, but I just, I just thought of something. They did mention in one of their polls that they gave us in the past that we could potentially get skins for gliding animation. I think. I think that was the case. So what if Magic Carpet is actually the skin for our gliding animation? So you can equip it and instead of having just sparkles behind you while sprinting, it's gonna you're you're just gonna be float like sprinting on the magic carpet. Oh my god. If that's the case, that would be so cool. You could actually travel on a magic carpet for the sprinting animation. And there is literally no drawbacks for it because we're technically gliding already. So it would cost you no cost them nothing to just make your character put your legs a little bit higher and put you on a magic carpet while you're gliding. And then you can have a nice animation of the carpet rolling up and maybe disappearing, and then you putting your legs down once you need to transition into walking. That would be 10 out of 10. Absolutely want to see that. Let me know in the comments what do you think. Uh, yeah, this is pretty much the current thoughts. I feel like the, the squirrel or the chipmunk and popcorn so far is the most unknown factor. Pretzels and popcorns, though... Kind of sounds like a movie theater food, so maybe we're going to get some classic movies themed with, with some Chippendale. I I don't know. The only one I'm very confident in is Magic Carpet. It's just too big, too big of a coincidence. So yeah, these are pretty much the, all the things that we know so far that are coming in the next update. We also know that they promised to fix a couple bugs. For example, we know for a fact that uh, Vacuum is going to be fixed. The ancient vacuum, uh, the collect all button is not working right now, and they did say they're going to fix it in the next update. So hopefully more bugs will get fixed as well. Yeah, if there's anything I missed, let me know in the comments. Uh, and also subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be reporting on all the news that I hear happening in this Jumai Valley. And there's going to be a lot of news for the next week or so before the update. So if you don't want to miss it, click that button and also... Huge thanks to all of our supporters. You guys are absolutely awesome. Also, huge thanks to all of our awesome supporters. Thank you so much, guys, for uh, supporting this channel, for all the love, for all the comments, for all the viewers, for all the likes, and for joining me on the live streams. Right now, I'm working on a storage system that hopefully is going to fit all of the items from both Regular Village and Eternity Isle, and potentially even future expansions. It looks pretty good so far. If you wanna, if you wanna be a part of the creation process and uh, share your ideas and maybe get inspired for your own storage system, feel free to join the channel. Not to miss the live streams. The next one is going to be on Tuesday, which is tomorrow. Hopefully, we're gonna make some good progress. I see you then. Thank you for watching, and take care.